on, on defense, but what are kind of the emotions right now with you and the team? I mean, it sucks. I mean, we don't plan to come in and get this type of, I guess, speech or talk to the media about losing, especially in the playoff. I mean, it's hurt, man, because, man, we work in, day in, day out. I mean, especially up front, you know, we communicate, trying to affect the quarterback, you know, but, I mean, we just came up short. Um, this won't this won't stop us, though. Guys, I mean, we said in the locker room, like, we're going to keep this team tight. Nothing going to split us up. Nothing going to come between our team. You know, like I said, we, we hate to lose. Um, you know, um, props to them. They made more plays than us. Um, you know, quarterback got the ball. They they did a good job in the, the two-minute situation or whatever it is at the end of the game. And um, like I said, they just made more plays there at the end. And um, like I said, it sucks. Do you think there's something wrong with a team that could have a home playoff game, a number one seed, nine sacks, and lose? What, what, what's, what do you mean what's wrong with the team? I mean, I said they made more plays than us. I mean, and nothing wrong with our team. Like I said, nothing going to split us up. I mean, um... They made more play than us. Jeff, is it tough when you guys play this well to see the offense turn it over the way they did? Your offense turn it over the way they did today? I mean, we just got to keep having our offense back. I mean, we did a great job, especially early on. I mean, first drive, Tannehill threw a pick. Oh, well, we went on the field and kicked the field goal. That's how we got to respond as the defense. I mean, I mean, we got to keep getting on the field and making them kick field goals if they get down there. And, of course, they had good field um, position, so... I mean, we did a great job making them kick field goals in the red zone. I mean, they had a, uh, one good rushing touchdown. I mean, I think uh, they just missed communication. But like I said, we just got to, I mean, keep having the offense back. I mean, that's the part of the game. Sometimes the offense starts slow. I mean, sometimes we start slow and the offense helping us out. So, I mean, that's the whole part of this game of football. We all got to be good on all three phases, especially in the playoff. You mentioned before about how you guys have to be the ones to put fires out. You know, you look at a game like this, so many times the dam could have broken. What was it about the defense that kept it from breaking? Like, how did you guys manage that? I mean, that's that's kind of what we talk about. Um, you know, one thing we might we might bend, we won't break. Um, we got, like I said, we're going out there on the field with a mindset that, you know, three and out, they try to get the ball, something we didn't do as much. I mean, we got one turnover. Um, as, as we know, they beat us in turnover. I think they had like three or four. So that just shows that we have to be able to, especially um, next year, I mean, we talked about it, we talked about it. Let's create turnover. We actually had to um, try to force turnover. So I think that just uh, going into this offseason, you know, guys get healthy and coming back. That's something we're going to really have to focus on, you know, trying to create them turnovers. So, I mean, I think that'll help us put out the fire a little more, you know, when, I don't know, if the offense stalled or turn over the ball, how can we go out there and match their defense by getting the turnover as well? You get that one turnover, Jeffrey, and, and you guys are going back. 16-16, uh, you tie it up after you get that turnover. I mean, you get the ball back, too. You're feeling pretty good about momentum on the sidelines at that point. You think you guys have done it again, going to come from behind and, and win again? I mean, we – and one thing about our team, like I just said, we might be we're gonna we don't break. Um, you know, I think that's the best thing about our team. You know, we're going to fight to the end. And as you see, we, we're still trying to fight. We're still trying to fight, trying to get this win. But, like I said, they just made – one extra play than us, and um, like I said, we we never lost hope. Um, I mean, what we down at halftime in nine six, we coming out talking about defense. Let's go get three and out, get the offense the ball. So, I mean, uh, that's why I love this team because we don't have front runners, as Coach Vrabel say. And um, everyone, you know, we hungry. We we like we came out here talking like we want to win this game, you know. Um, but like I said, they just made more plays than us. Shock to the system. You think you're gonna play until middle of February, and now all of a sudden it's, it's over. Um, you, like, the shock to the system in some ways. You think you're gonna keep playing for weeks, and then all of a sudden now you know you're packing up. I mean, our goal was to go to the Super Bowl and win. Now. Of course, we um, short of our goal. Like I said, you know, in order for to continue to play in February, we have to. We supposed to have been taking care of this game. So it happened we didn't. So um, like I said, that just props to them. Get it all the props to them. You know, that, like I said, they made more plays than us. Um, I tell you what, though, we gonna we gonna let this build. We gonna we gonna build off this and. Um, I hate this feeling, so whatever I could do as a leader, as a captain on this team, you know, to get the guys, you know, going more and coming in for the next season, you know, um, I'm trying not to have this feeling again. So, yeah, does part of the disappointment from this come from the fact that you all felt like you were good enough to do more than this? Yeah, for, for sure. I mean, we knew 
especially on defense, we knew that, you know, we'll, if we're coming into the game to affect the quarterback and we come in and affect the quarterback, which we did um, a lot tonight, we knew we had a chance. And um, I think that's kind of the most disappointing thing because, like I said, we, if we could have just got the ball out a little more, you know, because we were hitting the quarterback a lot. And I think that's kind of where we have to get better on our defense, especially the front four, because we get home a lot. How can we get the ball out of the quarterback hand? Because they, as we know, like the quarterback fumble the ball much more than anybody on the field. So how can we be able to um, get strip sacks? So I think that's just a thing, like I said, going to the offseason. Um, that's something we just have to build off by trying to get more turnovers. You tied the NFL's playoff record for sacks with nine. What were you guys doing so well to, to affect the quarterback? I mean, everyone just, I mean, especially when guys got their one-on-ones, we were winning. We knew that this O-line was going to struggle. Um, we knew the type of matchup that, I mean, the coach was putting us in a uh, great situation. Everyone on the same page. You know, um, when guys beat their guys inside, the quarterback tried to scram outside. He had nowhere to go. So everyone, all four on the same page up front. You know, even the linebackers um, disguising the quarterback a lot, making a back step up and leaving, you know, a couple times, like leaving me one-on-one -on -one or whatever it may be. So I think that's just the thing with, you know, our front four, like we've been talking about, everyone have to win and be coordinated um, on the same page. So.